crime is up in Medford. The police department released its 2016 crime stats, which show a nearly 15% increase in crime overall. And while the agency saw some crimes double, others dipped. Tonight, police are breaking down the numbers. We were very, very busy in 2016. Nearly 40,000 crimes were reported last year in Medford alone. We handled more cases uh, than we have in, in several years, if not the history of MPD. The annual report provides the agency with an overall look at crime within the city, and it's not going away. We live in a large enough community where there's going to be crime. We have criminals. We have a jail that's full of them. It's an issue that's not overlooked by local business owners like Jed Evers. Barricaded himself inside this little room here. His coffee shop was recently broken into despite added security measures implemented last fall. We have hired security to just uh, patrol in the evenings and in the middle of the night. According to the report, the largest crime increases were among homicides, robberies and vehicle break-ins, while rape, identity theft and DUIIs all saw decreases. But Lieutenant Kerry Curtis says numbers don't always show the full picture. We're down in DUIs. Does that mean there's less DUI drivers? We'd like to think so. We'd like to think that people are being responsible, taking the proper precautions, but it also could be attributed to the fact that we're very busy. Residential burglaries, car thefts, and credit card fraud all saw increases too. And while police say it's concerning, they say many of the cases are ending in arrests. We look at those clearance rates as um, really the investigative work that goes into solving the crimes that are happening in our community, and at 80 percent, we're um, above what I would believe to be national standards. MPD adds there are things you can do to avoid becoming a victim, including locking your home and car, removing valuables from plain sight, or installing home surveillance, which you can register with the department.